Hello everyone, welcome to my video. In today's video, what I'd like to talk about is um, Kali Linux. So, I've been using Kali Linux now for a few weeks, and I find that I like it. It's, it's pretty good, uh, has a lot of cool tools, has some interesting applications. I've been lately working with uh, Aircrack NG, uh, doing a, a network wireless audit on my own router. Um, I don't condone any illegal hacking of any kind on any other network other than your own or on a network that you have permission to do any type of pen testing. Otherwise, everything else is illegal. I don't condone it. So I do like Kali Linux. The only thing that um, I'm kind of uh, I, I don't really like is the fact that it does not appear to come with a firewall um, or I'll, unless it has a firewall application and I just don't know the name the only ones that I'm really used to is either uh, UFW that's that's my favorite firewall um, and I didn't see anything under IP table so I'm probably not finding it. It might be in the Kali Linux distribution. If you know of the firewall that comes with Kali Linux, put it in the comments. Let me know what it is. But I know that the ones that I'm familiar with is not in there. And like I said, my favorite is UFW. While we're here, I might as well go over the process of installing UFW. UFW is, is an acronym. It stands for Uncomplicated Firewall. It comes on a lot of uh, Ubuntu distributions and it's pretty pretty safe and pretty good to use. So let's go over installing it. As always, before you install anything with Kali Linux, you uh, should go ahead and do a update. All updates need the all commands where you do an update or run any type of installation you need to have either pseudo rights or be signed in under roof uh, root and I am signed in under root so I'm just going to use the command apt install and I'm going to use the Y flag so that I can accept all defaults and then it's just going to be UFW and then I press enter Oh, wait a minute. I apologize. Like I said, first thing we need to do is do an update. And with the update, I'm going to use a Y switch for the same reason. Just accept defaults. And then after that, let's go ahead and clear the screen. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and install. Let's see. Apt install UFW for uncomplicated firewall. Okay. I believe I've already installed it before. Yeah, I did. Oh, no, it went ahead and installed it anyway. Okay, cool. And so, go ahead and clear the screen. And the first thing we want to do is we want to check the status of UFW. I believe it's already enabled, though. UFW status. It is active. If for whatever reason you want to deactivate it, you just run this command. It's going to be UFW disable. Okay, and then you just run the status command again. It should show this inactive. Let's go ahead and enable it. All right. And UFW is now enabled. Checking the status, it shows active. Now, as with all firewalls, you can use UFW to implement uh, opening or closing of ports, and it'll create it as a as a rule. So, for example, let's go ahead and open up port 22, and the command for that would just be UFW space allow port 22 and that's the command for doing it. Now, if you just need port 22 and you don't care if it works on both the TCP side or the, UF, the UDP side, then you just use uh, 22. But if you want it to be open just on the TCP side only, use TCP. 
and then you press enter. Okay, and then you'll do a UFW status. And it shows that port 22 is open for the TCP side only and is open up for uh, TCP um, or internet version 4 and internet version 6 or IPV version 6 and IP version 4. All right. I said IPV. I meant uh, IP. Internet protocol. All right. So now we got that. And so let's say for whatever reason you want to go ahead and um, get rid of port 22 and add another port. Well, we already know how to add a port, but let's see how we can get rid of port 22. One of the easiest ways of doing that is numbering the different rules. And you do that by doing UFW status and then you type in numbered. Press enter. That will give you the number of each of the rules that you have here. And then it's just a simple case of just deleting that rule by the number, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We'll clear the screen and we'll delete number one. And so you just do that by doing UFW, delete, and number one. And they'll ask you, are you sure you want to do it? You want to proceed? You type Y for yes. All right. And it's deleted. Then let's check it. Press enter. And one of them was deleted. So let's go ahead and work on deleting the other one. And that's just going to be UFW status numbered. And that's now number one, so we need to go ahead and delete number one. So let's go ahead and clear the status, or the screen, UFW, status, or no, it's just going to be delete, and it's number one again. And yes, to go ahead and proceed. And then we're going to look at it again. That's going to be UFW, status. And is active and then you can go ahead and make your adjustments you know you can add another one in there right this time we might want to do uh, 23 TCP and you can do that and then once again UFW status and as you can see now we have 23 on there now you can have multiple rules as well Right, I'm just showing you this just to show you mainly how to add in and delete your, your rules and your commands for UFW. UFW, I love it. Uncomplicated firewall uh, that you run the commands uh, on the command line. But it's very easy to use. And like most applications, if you can't remember a command or you need to know what the command is, you just go ahead and use the help uh, section tac tac help and I usually like to put in less uh, uh, command the pipe and the command less that way I can look at each screen and to go ahead and tap through the screens you just hit your uh, space bar and then it, it goes to the next screen and if you want to go back to the top you can either press the home button on your keyboard or let's go down some and then if you want to go back to the previous page, you can also on your keyboard hit the B button and it'll go back one page at a time. Right? So that's how you can look up your commands and see which ones you want to use for whatever occasion. And to get out of this, I'm sure you all know, on your keyboard you just need to press the Q button or the Q, yeah, the Q button, Q as in Q back, and that takes us out of there. So the other thing is, is once you've finished with all of your rules and doing whatever it is you want to do with your, your firewall, you need to go ahead and restart it or reload it. And the command for that is just re UFW reload. Also, in case I forgot, um, UFW does require the command of either sudo or you being logged in under root 
account okay so we have that that reloaded another way you can reload it or even stop the services other than disable is you can use the system CTL command and that's just first we'll check the status and that's system CTL status UFW and as we can see here it is currently active but just as well to get out of this we can press the Q button for Q back get out of that clear the screen and the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and start and stop we can stop UFW okay and after doing that let's look at the status again and it should show uh, inactive and there we go it is in a, it it is inactive hit the Q screen the Q button to get out of that clear the screen and you guessed it in order to activate it we just go ahead and switch it from stop to start okay and we don't have any errors that came up so we just do a status it should show active again and it does and the only other thing there's another command that we can use and that's the service command so it's going to be service UFW status obviously is active press Q clear the screen and you can also use uh, service let's see you can stop it and then we we'll check the status again is at deactive or not inactive press the Q button to clear that clear the screen and then you guessed it in order to start it again we just press in service UFW start <clears throat> then after you check the status you will see it is back active it is back to being active all right and then to get out of this you just press the Q button to get out of that so like I said I like Kali Linux I just feel a little a little exposed without having a firewall what do you guys think do you think that you need a firewall for Kali Linux or do you think it's just it's not needed whatsoever or is is there another application under a different name that has a firewall I'm just not familiar with it probably uh, let me know what you think put something in the comments do you think I'm wasting time by putting in a firewall or or what what do you guys think in either case everything else I love about Kali Linux I'm currently using it with uh, aircrack NG and um, I love it I love it I like using it um, it's very cool it's very it's kind of exciting <laughs> for lack of a better term. But in either case, thank you. That's all I wanted to talk about today. Just wanted to say that to you guys and get your opinions on it and what do you think. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate you looking at this video. You have a good rest of your day or evening wherever you are. Bye-bye.